gentlemen, and welcome to what is a very early morning here <sighs> over in the U.S. of A. And the 2.2 live stream is about to start any minute. We're about to fall over and go right back to sleep any minute now. Any minute now. We're going to see which one starts or happens first. Yep. Yes, that's English. Let it begin. Yes. I'm Christian Banis, and I voice <laughs> Toma in Genshin Impact. Ahoy there. You don't know how long I've been waiting to see you. <laughs> yes. Hey, and we've been waiting to you see bunch you too. Of oh my gosh, they just started it. They just they lit, hit, they just hit play. For for once. Honestly, it's kind of great. And the special program has always held a really big place in my heart. So it's really cool I'm on it. Plus, it's kind of nice hands. to get a meet in a team. What are you? <laughs> well, it is one of Toma's favorite hangout spots. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I am I'm so, so excited, happy guys. that we're back to the chibis. Right, well, let's get things rolling with a first look at the trailer for version 2.2. Into the okay. perilous labyrinth of fog. All right, here labyrinth we go. Of fog? Sounds fun. Sounds cool. I have no idea what this to is expect. Gonna be like some kind of infinite mode. As soon as the melody began, Kazuha, okay, began to drift, and I could hear the sound of someone playing along with me. Come, try it for yourself. It's all yours. What oh, is a new, that? Uh, new instrument? Oh, it's a guitar, but it's the lute. But yeah, okay. The Zoom version. Yeah, yeah. Saw, nice saw that sure. coming. Okay. Dang. Yes, this used to be my dominion. What? What? Monsters. The aroma of battle. Come on now! What the freak are those things? I what? Oh, it, whoa! Okay, like dog. Enemies. Are we getting a child rerun again? Maybe. I mean, I main child for the longest time, so I, I still kind of do. I like this. Ooh! This time. Ooh! That art. So he is a speed. What is that weapon? Is that a free to play weapon? Or... Uh, no, that's the shotguns. Dude! Hmm. I love this art. So it is infinite ish. Or at least. So it's like an arena or something? Is this the last island? Dude, I don't know. What the freak? So the wolves are just new enemies. Okay, cool. I'm digging it. What? So I like this island's history. Look at this grass. Okay, Ori, calm down. It, right? Version trailers are always so exciting to see for the first time. Yes. I'm sure our they viewers noticed. Hands. They have hands. They gave them hands. Trailer. Okay. But don't worry. We'll be diving into <laughs> they got all the new content soon. Yep. Just and before we do that, let's get to our first redemption code. Yeah. No, never mind. They have a thumb. Redemption? Oh, right. Primos. Oh, uh, dang. Hey, I'll always take free primos. I'm never going to yeah! take <laughs> Okay. By the way, I love uh, I love his official art. We we saw it on their Twitter account back at the beginning of two point uh, one. However, we could not see the background and whatever this like flaming armor is that he has around him. It seemed to be one of his abilities. Or so result? he's probably like a shield unit and such and everything. Looked like that was actually two different abilities. One was like a normal bubble shield, and the other had like the armor. Okay, okay. So he's a double tank. <laughs> double tank. Double tank. I, don't, I don't even know what a double tank is. No You're idea. so tired right now. I blame. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> Valid until 12 a.m. In how many days? Two two days? Wow. Okay. How nice. Huh. Okay. Check out the boss. Why would you do that? We just going right in. No, that isn't a spear. Mm. Oh, dude! His attack animations! What the flip? Ooh, it ends with a pyro? No, that was an ability. Okay. What the flip? What is this? What? You're a foresight? <laughs> that's so cool! Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Like okay. Also, an I, I love the fire attack. How good is that shield? That. Dude! 
Oh um, wait! Okay, so when he has the shield on, he shoots fire out of his attacks. Wait, will that apply to all characters or just him? Well, we gotta get down I'm to guessing just him. They slash the prices on fish around this time of day. Oh, and if you find something that you just can't do without, I'll help you haggle the price down. Th thank you. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Finally, Thomas Betty joined the team. I'm yeah. assuming he Sounds like, like he's also pretty good at bargaining. Prices. Well, that's Ooh, too surface, easy, my lady. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ooh, Christian, it's you definitely nice know story. Toma inside out by now. Okay. Why don't you take the lead here and introduce Toma for us? Yeah, sure thing. You know, players have already seen quite a bit of Toma throughout the Inazuma storyline. And though we met Toma in Inazuma, he was actually born in Mondstadt. Oh. Yeah, I know. Did not know that. Now, he's a well-known fiction in Inazuma, as well as chief retainer of the Kamisato clan. Gotcha. Man, as the so clan's nice housekeeper, man. he's very good at various housekeeping skills. You know, stuff like trimming the courtyard, cooking, and sewing, and, you know, bargaining. Some even say that with him around, the Kamisato clan has no need for other attendants. Oh. Okay. Okay. Basically, he's really good at taking care of everything. He's the ultimate buttle, <laughs> yeah. uh, but, butler. He can, he can buttle. He can be a reliable teammate. He holds a pyrovision and wields a polearm as his weapon. Nice. When he uses his elemental skill, Blazing Blessing, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at his AOE pyro Dang, my anime is so crisp. Also I love his, like, and double attack in the one... Barrier. It's What's so special nice. about this shield is that its oh! damage absorption mm, can I love the amount of impact on the last so, one. So, if another blazing barrier is obtained again, then the remaining so, damage absorption of the existing blazing barrier will stack, and its duration will stack, be refreshed. Okay. There okay. is a limit to the stacks of damage absorption, of course, but I think it's enough to make Toma a reliable protector. Okay, so you're able to refresh it. Does that make him a four-star jungling, basically? Or refreshing a blazing barrier, well, the depends current active like... character's shield strength will increase for a certain duration. Okay. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> depends how it stacks. And finally, yeah, we have his elemental burst. When Toma unleashes his elemental burst, Crimson Oyoroi, he slices his spear through his foes with roaring fires that deal pyro damage and weave themselves into a scorching Oyoroi. Ooh, okay. That sounds cool, but you're gonna have to tell us what Oyoroi is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure thing. So Oyoroi is a kind of armor. Okay, so it basically serves as another shield? Well, it's not only like a shield. The normal attacks of active characters affected by the scorching Oyoroi oh. will trigger fiery collapses. No collapses flipping way, AI everyone! Yeah. Damage ...and summon blazing barriers. After unlocking the talent Flaming Assault, the damage dealt by Crimson Oyoroi's fiery collapses are increased by a certain percentage of Toma's maximum HP. Okay. That's really and nice. A lot of Toma's oh. talents are centered Is this our first shield. support fire character? And given that a vision that, like, represents pyro, its owner's ambition, attacks. you could say <gasps> that Toma's ambition C6. is protecting people. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Oh, so nice. With your attack. <laughs> not changing not your attack. Not changing your attack. Protect his party yes. members with his shield. But he also provides extra pyro damage for the active character. Yeah. What? And with the effect of the imbricated armor talent I mentioned earlier. After so he's gonna be burst, great for free to play, like someone like me who does not have Zhongli, basically. Shield. Okay, that's cool. So basically, the more you attack, the stronger the shield becomes. Dude. Pretty much. And nice. Toma also has a pretty special exploration talent. Once Whatever. we have obtained Toma, successful fishing attempts in Inazuma have a 20% chance of scoring a double catch. Ooh. Oh. Nice. That'll definitely come in. Not handy. a price space. <laughs> right. okay. And on that note, let's move on to version 2.2's Evolution. It's fish to play. All right, sounds let's good. Let's do it. In version 2.2. Oh, what the? Uh, and child? Child? In his event wish rerun. Followed by Hu Tao in her own event wish rerun. I Our did not Toma see those banners coming. Event wish with Hu Tao and will enjoy a nice drop rate boost. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are really sure happy, by the way, right now. Try another chance to get these characters. Yeah, no, I should. Speaking of new things, <laughs> we'll also be seeing lots of new weapons landing in version 2.2. Ooh, ooh, First, ooh we have I like the those new five star weapons. Bow, Man, those Polar are nice, dude. Especially as well as swords. several new four star ooh. weapons, including the Claymore, Akuwamaru. The polearm, Wavebreaker's fin. Aku Amaru, that, that sword is a claymore. And these yeah, four-star weapons. Awesome. I was like wondering when I saw it, I was like, huh. Yeah. And aside from the new character and weapons, we will also be getting new hangout events in version yeah. 2. Dude! Bonus. This time, we'll be hanging out with Toma and Zayu. Ooh, we get to hang okay. out with Zayu. 
Okay. I can't wait to see what we'll get to do together. Okay. <laughs> well, you I am so thrilled with Child coming back for a third <laughs> time mean, already. Probably take I don't know how well he's going to do. Routine in the a lot of people were really <laughs> wanting to go Maybe for it. A lot of new people. You no, know, actually, with this Toma thing, I mean, just running him with a bad Aren't you curious at all about the Toma hangout? Um, we already trust Toma. He'll probably Holy cool crap! That's probably actually why they're doing <laughs> oh, it. Totally. That it's like, is... Here, here's this Toma's nice damage in the background. We'll probably be learning some housekeeping from him. Not to mention oh. the fire procs <laughs> off of his <laughs> HP so you can still build so your child all we need to do is have some story oh, piece ready that's and wait good. for the Inazuma adventures to go live. He's probably on his banner, right? No, only on his house. You're kidding. That's why they did it like that. Oh. Should I go for Hutel? I mean, I, I just enjoy her character. And... Ooh, this looks nice. Mm -hmm. Do you think they're gonna start shortening banner characters um, to allow more reruns and everything? It's weird that they're doing Child for a third time already. Kind of weird. I mean, I won't go for him, but hey, those who want him, they can. Do I am so sorry for everyone who's waiting for Ganyu to come back. <laughs> it's been almost a year, dude. Yeah. It was January of 2021. Those Albedo's out there. Oh. I this just place want. This is a very summer feel. I just want Yuli to come back. Kind of reminds me actually of the summer. Thing. Oh, this is the area of hollow trees that they showed off when they first showed off. Okay. This is the Mizuma? mist, the island of mist. Mm. All right. Next up, we Spooky have an island. inside no, scoop back. on the all new area to explore in version 2.2, Surumi Island. It looks like it's covered in dense fog. <laughs> exactly. I'm from this place. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, picture this. An island that has always been something of a mystery for outsiders. So it's like Kong Skull Island. Or atmosphere and the All the spear wolves look like they're right out of Kingdom Hearts 3. It's easy for mm. inexperienced mm. travelers okay. to get lost in this fog. So few people ever dare to visit Surumi Island. Ooh. <laughs> hey, we're adventurers, right? Uh, mysteries are what we chase after. <laughs> of course. That's right. I love it. And there will definitely be new treasure chests waiting to be discovered. Okay. And you know, mm. aside from the new island area, travelers will be encountering some new monsters in the upcoming Heck version, yeah, too. Dude, give them to me. Let's take a look at their gameplay. Oh. I, I didn't think you would. The weaves. Okay. Yeah, let's try it. Dude, please tell me there's like a giant boss wolf. Mm hmm. Mm, very sleek. So that's Earth. Smaller Electro. Smaller Earth. Okay. So we got our big boys and then we got the smaller ones. Ooh. So are these the new enemies that are rumored to just bypass shield? Probably because sure. they're like ghosts. Oh, okay. I like that idea. At least it would make sense for like ghosts. They animate very nicely. Like, yeah, they are literally just that Kingdom Hearts 3 boss. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> I like that shot. That's good. Whoa. Yeah, big boss. Yeah, really. looks scary. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, these new scary looking monsters are called Rift Hound Whelps and Rift Hounds. Judging from the names, we can tell that they sort of come from the same species. They're like scary, but like also kind of awesome. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty cute. Ooh. Speaking of them being awesome, rumors yeah, okay. say that these are monstrous beasts capable of corroding the boundaries of the world. They are mysterious monsters from the abyss what? and are divided yeah, into four abyss. types according to their different elemental powers. These monsters can strike forward with their piercing claws, dealing elemental damage. During battle, they can go invisible stealthily moving around the battlefield to attack. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, um. Rift Hound Whelps and Rift Hounds have a very unique attack mechanic. Once their attacks hit an active character, that character, as well as other characters in the party, oh. will be continually affected by the corrosion status. Oh. Affected characters will lose HP every second. What? And even the characters with shields will not be immune to this corrosion effect. Oh, so man. it protects from the damage, but not I the mean, corrosion. they might look scary. Got it. So there's sure a good we dot. Them? <laughs> <laughs> On everyone. Definitely. Yeah. And so well, they want you to that's have everything we have for our new monsters. In the next section, we'll get a peek at the events coming our way in 2.2. Yes, but before we get oh, the there, DPS it's time to like, get away. Is this supposed to affect me? Yes. Da -da. Ah, it's Child. Oh my goodness. As I love Child, so I'm actually I'm happy to see him come back again. For anyone who maybe have, like would have missed him, but holy but, crap, Child! Yeah, uh, instead of Ganyu, Zhao, 
Albedo. They Bruce just, Dwayne? Uh, Zhang Li's gonna make money no matter what, so they're trying to give Child I think, another run as well as he just goes so well with Toma and everything. Mm -hmm. it, going for like the, uh, just evaporate kind of thing. I, I think it's brilliant, actually. That's a really cool team comp to go with him. Because him and Jingling actually will just be perfect. Because not only do you need to just... Because Jingling's great with Child right now. She's like... That's like top meta right now. But now you can have a shield unit doing the same thing. You're always going to be evaporating. Well, and then you won't even have to wait for a little Gyoba. Gyoba, yeah. Yeah, that's true. But then again, Gyoba will be more reliable since he's just an ability. Yeah. I don't know. It's very interesting. Welcome back, travelers. Next Free up, we'll be revealing the events coming Not in two point two. The first event on our list. I see a is crown. Labyrinth warriors. Oh, okay. Down I'm seeing up. the theme here. The word <laughs> labyrinth was also in the title of the version trailer. Is this gonna be so like some really cool endgame end stuff? <laughs> right. And well, the warriors part temporary. is straightforward enough. Seems we are getting some more combat in this event. Yep. Heck yeah. In this event, we'll be entering a domain in Inazuma called the Mystic Onmyo Chamber. It's a domain. Joining okay. us along the way will be a paper figure called Shiki Taisho, who will be providing some help to us throughout the adventure. I'm assuming he'll be also a making an appearance in the event storyline oh, yes. will be the eleventh Fatui Harbinger Tartaglia, aka Child, as well as the Wait, resident rock star of Leah. Sheena. Yeah. Oh, okay. so. It's gonna be great to see them in the story. He's line, legit, I think, I in the story. Say, what an interesting combination. <laughs> yeah, totally. Hmm. And what's interesting, though, is that Child is the third Fatui Harbinger we've seen set foot in Inazuma. Given that the Fatui are not the most welcome guests in Inazuma, you can't help but wonder what he's doing there. Totally. Yeah, and I mean, the same for Shinyan, too. Yeah. What brings a rock star to Inazuma? I guess we'll have to wait until the upcoming version to find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and in addition to the storyline, we'll also have new event gameplay. Let's dive into some of the details. All right. All right. As aye, I aye. mentioned before, we will be entering the bizarre and well, yeah, unpredictable domain. It's gotta be a pet. That, that's such a, that's such a pet. Monsters and hidden dangers await us there. And We're only four ninety nine. need to deploy two parties of characters mm. before initiating the trial. A okay. combat party and a oh, support party. Luckily, we can use Shiki Taisho's charm magic to give us the upper hand. He's the Travelers buff guy. Okay. Travelers may select certain Shiki Fuda before entering the domain. <laughs> the These Shiki Fuda are like magic seals that will provide us with a variety of assistance while inside the domain. Some Shiki Fuda mm. can summon spirits. Some can create barriers while others can buff the active character. After okay. After making all the necessary preparations, We'll be ready to face whatever waits for us in the domain. There are five bosses. levels in the Mystic Ocean uh, Chamber. Rip. And <laughs> each level will have multiple... Yeah, that's the ventile right there. Random monsters will appear in the rooms, and travelers will randomly obtain different <sighs> items after defeating the monsters, Random including items, Battered Shiki Fuda, Damage Replicas, and Age oh. Tokens. Battered Shiki Fuda can be used to obtain buffs in the challenges. Damage Replicas Consume. can be used to enhance Shiki Taisho's abilities, and age tokens can be exchanged in the event shop for valuable rewards. No oh, man. Wait. <laughs> Good stuff. For sure. Thanks for the breakdown. <laughs> I dare you not. Okay, so moving to our next event, Shadow of the Ancients. What? This event has to do with our new area, Sarumi Island. Just During battling an investigation the big commission, guys. the traveler I, I need to, to fight a lot of these things to get more of those powers. Powers. Chaos core. Yeah. <laughs> chaos core. Chaos core. Like it's time to kill chaos. Yes, yes, exactly. And I, that's I actually why we really also do. Call it an anomalous model ruin grader. Oh, in the event, it's a our task version. will be to investigate this grader's regenerative powers. <sighs> if it's ancient machines we're dealing with, we'll definitely need a scholar or someone to guide us. Yep, okay. you're right. In fact, We'll be pairing up with a scholar from Sumeru during this adventure. Hmm. The okay. event is divided oh. into three Ooh, phases. Oh, from the next area. First is investigative surveys. Three, during wow. this phase, the Sumeru scholar will give us a special kind of prospector gadget. Travelers will need to explore different areas with these prospectors in search of components hmm. to repair yeah. important ancient devices called Persina's spikes. These devices can be used to cut the flow of power to the anomalous model ruin grader. Hmm. The special Whoa? prospectors we will be using are called Ayesha's Chaos Prospectors. Chaos. When the target is out of range, it will point towards the approximate <coughs> direction of the target. And once the target is within it's range, like archaeology it will mark World the location Warcraft. of the target for us. Travelers hmm. can place up to three prospectors at once. As soon as a fourth one is placed, the first prospector will be automatically retrieved. The oh no. So you can only... Yeah. 
Liyue, and Inazuma. You don't only really want them in the recent components, one, though, so I, I don't think that's Zina's a big deal. Spikes, which will then stop the ruin grater from regenerating. However, mm. oh, we it still heals. need to test you know. whether these spikes are fixed before we get to confront the anomalous model ruin grater. Which leads us to the second phase, data sampling. <laughs> Man, this sounds like some legit research is happening. So the light know, testing right? is actually fighting. In that. this phase, we'll test the functionality of the spikes by recharging them. Once we start the challenge, we'll have to use electro attacks to activate Persina spikes gotcha. and continue charging them. Please okay. note that the spikes will attract nearby opponents to come and attack them. And if the spikes are hit by an enemy, the spike's integrity oh, will drop. Oh, you have to charge multiple If them. one spike's integrity drops to zero, then oh. the challenge will fail. So be careful not to let the monsters damage the spikes. Okay, okay. And once we've collected enough data... We'll Dang, that goes down fast. Phase okay. Live testing. Yay! That Wait, we're Dang, still dude. testing even That's in the final phase? Easy. <laughs> I think well, phase three is gonna be great. Like you just fight beta. the giant guys. This will be fun. Have to charge all of Persina spikes within the time limit to cut the anomalous Persina model spikes. ruin grader off from its power source and finally defeat it. But note that if you defeat it before cutting off the power source, the ruin grader's self repair mechanism will be triggered, which will then cause it to re enter an active state. Oh, okay, okay. So let me get this straight. This Ooh. thing will just keep regenerating over and over again? Unfortunately, yes. But the Ruin Grader's not invincible. Just like a normal Ruin Grader, we can attack the cores mounted on its head and legs to immobilize it, which will help us defeat it more effectively. Our next event to expect in version 2.2 this is, is going to be great. Tuned to the world sounds. Wow, that sounds uh, poetic. It's just yeah, giving more Kazuma. Kazuma is involved, e everyone obviously. wants this, you know, so yeah. He's a poetic soul. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, in this event, Looking Kazuma kinda... will give us a floral zither, which we will use to hmm. perform music in the event. That's right. The rhythm game is coming back. Right. Nice. And this time, yeah. we get to be I didn't accompanied get the by other another one, so character I when we this. perform in the event. Yes, that's so cool. <laughs> right? There are a total of seven characters. <laughs> Zhang Li just going all sudden. They are Ningguang, Zhang Li, Kuching, Xiao, Kokomi, Ayaka, and the Raiden Shogun. Each okay. character has their own song, and performances will be split into normal, hard, and pro difficulty. Lone Tower in the normal West. Normal difficulty okay, is unlocked by default, out. and travelers will need to complete the available difficulty with at least a Euphonia rating to unlock the subsequent difficulty level. Anyway, okay, so there's like actually a full blown minigame this time. <laughs> Let's check out how the event looks <laughs> in you game. Nice? Sounds great. Song. Interesting name choice. Where to next? Pro. You coward. No, you coward. Oh boy. Yes! <laughs> yes! Jumping right in, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know. Oh, oh my you're playing good. with them. Okay. Okay. Goodness. Cool. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Split your brain in half and play. But that is such a nice scenery to play. Oh, I know. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait. This is this looks hard. Is this all on you? As you can see, uh, yep. oh the my. travelers will need to press the rhythm points when the ring shrinks down to around each point. And then they can score bonus points for timing consecutive oh, rhythm points there. correctly. Ah, oh, gotcha. That's cool. This is really Look at cool. The long note. It's a new mechanic uh, for this event. Brain, brain. Oh, the there's so many failures. The until the light strip disappears to score. You don't have to be. Perfect. If this was me, I would have instantly reset because it has to be perfect. It does not look easy. <laughs> that challenge is very easy. Yeah, I mean, I can I can do it. <laughs> yes, can you can. Zach? Yes, you can, Zach. I, I guess believe in you. We'll have I to in you. wait and see. <laughs> Oh, hey, the sound of the lyre is actually kind of different from the sound of our zither. This is so peaceful sounding. And then it is like... So it's basically <laughs> just a straight shamanism. Yeah, imagine trying to okay. get all of those at the same time. I know. Ish. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Stay with me. Stop playing with such nice music. It's really I relaxing. Playing. <laughs> I know, right? I'm so excited to give it a try. New enemy of sleep. It's a pretty good score. <laughs> well, that's all we've got for the Tune to okay. the World Sounds event. I hope all you travelers will enjoy. I hope there's like quests around that. That'd be fun. Next. 
We have another event <gasps> called Dreams of Bloom. Oh, it's spring. Uh, yeah. Spring. Wait, it's the fall. The event is initiated by an Inazuman florist named Sakuya. We're right. like the During opposite the event, of spring. Travelers brother. can submit the materials Sakuya it says Dreams of Bloom, to though. obtain some special seeds from her. We can then plant these seeds in a path of value luxuriant glebe in the Serena teapot. After okay. waiting for some time, you fool, my the seeds whole will then grow into beautiful land. flowers called dream blooms, is. which is an amazing name, by the way. <laughs> no, <laughs> right? I mean, the only thing that put know, down it looks like we'll have multiple kinds of dream blooms. <laughs> That's right. Sakuya will prepare three different kinds Dude. of dream bloom seeds for us during the event. Mm -hmm. Star hibiscus seed, pear bell seed, and silk pod seed. What's special here is what that even the it? same type of seed can grow into different colors. Yo, it's sort of like a mystery prize. <laughs> yeah. I'm in, right? I'm into also, that. travelers okay. will be able to send their flowers to each other. Oh, exciting! Oh, that's so sweet. Cute. So we can send the flowers we this already have so to our friends who might need them. Yep. That's cool. Yeah. In addition, the grown flowers can also be used as furnishings to decorate our realms. Once Gosh. travelers have completed certain challenges. We can obtain Sakuya's special gardening package and choose one of the three flower stands that we prefer. We can Dang, also I like customize all of them. flower arrangements in our stands and make them into unique furnishings for ourselves. Hmm. Looks like we'll be seeing some customized flower stands appearing in our teapots. You bet. But please note that after the event ends, the flower seeds from this event will also disappear. So wow. be sure to participate in the event before they're gone. I will. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> and besides all these events, we will also be seeing another return of the Leyline yeah. Overflow event. Okay, this is awesome. During the event, I'll take we will that. have three chances daily to collect double rewards from overflowing Blossoms of Wealth or Blossoms of Revelation. I, I always could always use makes more things XP so books. much easier for leveling up your characters, right? <laughs> Yeah, especially when you have a lot of characters to work on. Oh, yeah. I know. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's about I all we that. have for the events in version 2.2. Too well. too. Now let's move on to some great updates coming to the Serena teapot. Yay! Yes. In version 2.2, the new realm style, silken courtyard, as well as oh, a series okay. of brand new Serena teapot. Okay, we're getting the Inazuma area. For travelers to enjoy. All right, it's time for some Inazuma that, vibes in our teapots. That's yeah. awesome. I mean, now you can open chests in the overworld to get stuff. Wow, wow. it's beautiful. Oh my god. What gosh, the flip? Very pretty. This is it bigger? This is gorgeous. Everything is so It's probably the same beautiful. size as everything. I, this it's feels so ah, peaceful too. The land yeah. is rising. Sun. I just feel like yes. like uh, watching it is so peaceful. <sighs> it's so cool, okay. But how do we get this realm style? Okay. Well, once travelers have upgraded their oh, sacred spring. Sakura's favor to level forty, they can claim the rewards to unlock the silken courtyard style. Wow, level forty? <laughs> I know, right? The, wait, the, the tree is that even while your sacred Sakura what? hasn't reached level the forty, tree? you can still gain Friendship? a variety of new Inazuma-styled furnishing blueprints in general, and furnishing set blueprints in the coming version. And oh, on that over note, time. we'll also have a new way of collecting blueprints in version two point two. Inside the new Surumi Island area lies a brand new type of treasure chest called Remarkable Chests. Travelers will be able to obtain blueprints by finding and opening these chests. Remarkable. <laughs> <We> can <also laughs> uh, that's obtain cool. Some I like it. Furnishing blueprints by purchasing them from Tubby the Teapot Spirit, or by mm. receiving them as rewards from certain world quests. In version 2.2, a new furnishing okay. type will be added to the Serena Teapot system called a floating platform. Basically, it's like a type of rock that floats in the air. Oh, uh, sort of like Plastrite from the Lantern, right? Yeah, but with these floating platforms, we can actually set a certain height for them to float I at. really like and that. And just like okay. any other landform, we can place furnishings on it. And with that, we have even we more farmland. Oh, there will be levels. Yes. In addition, there will also Each be level some will be a different kind of to the Serena plot. system. Starting from version 2.2, we can learn blueprints from several new places, like through the Create Furnishing menu inside the Serena Teapot, through the Forge, and through the Crafting Bench. Oh, like that definitely makes learning blueprints a lot more convenient. Yeah, I'm and aside from optimizations to the Serena the Teapot two. system, version 2.2 will also Perfect. include an optimization to the storage capacity of our inventory. After the version update, the maximum did, artifacts we can see oh, you have so many will be increased from artifacts. 1, to 1,500. Oh, Thank that's you. sick. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that cool, but like... all we have regarding the version update. Oh, yeah. awesome. Why did you have so yeah, many exiles? We covered a lot of content today. 
But hold on, we're not finished yet. But Next wait, there's up, more? We're excited to announce a collaboration between Genshin Impact and Razer. Oh, oh come Later on! That's not, that's not, that's not what we want. It's not what I was wanting to hear. I, you can't just say collaboration. And an it's, an, it's a cool chair. chair. It's nice. always reassuring to know that Paimon's got your back as you journey through the world Yay, of now I can And now my in more ways than one. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, Paimon's great. Don't you do that there. Also come with like bonus in-game rewards. Travelers can head over to the official Razer webpage for more I heard collaboration was lineup. like... Oh, Bro, you yeah, can't, can't just wait. say the words collaboration. Oh, I'm so excited. Gotcha. Hey. <laughs> and with that note, let's give away the third redemption code for today. Uh, here we go. Ah, yes, Hu Tao. Awesomeness. I feel bad for all those Ganyu you mains. Uh, not even a Ganyu main, because you only need to see zero Ganyu to be amazing. That's I feel true. bad for all those people who don't have Ganyu. Who, like, if you're a new player, it... Like, Hu Tao is really good, so you are getting a powerhouse this patch. If you want some character... Mm. That will do a stupid amount of damage. You got Hu Tao. You can go for mm. her and just instantly wreck face. I I'm, just, I'm tempted to get her myself. I mean, I just like characters that sacrifice health for damage. Mm -hmm. I've always enjoyed glass cannons. It's just a fun play style. I don't know. I've always just been a sucker for that kind of play style. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. That, that play style is really fun. No, I just... I'm just I'm trying to figure out... I wonder if they're like... Because Hu Tao, when she originally was here, she was only here for like two weeks? Mm -hmm. Well, it seems like the version 2.2 special program is finally Ooh. reaching its okay. end. Okay. <sighs> and I gotta say, that was very informative. This reminds oh, me very us, much Christian. of the Wind Bloom patch. Like of just like, here's some us. stuff to tide oh, you man, over until so we drop cool. more things. Well, actually, the all the new new events. Uh, brand new area looks sick. Oh, yeah, Dragon's Spine. This reminds me of Dragon's Spine. Terrifying monsters, and, you know, of course, Toma. Yeah, I also can't wait for Toma and the Serena Teapot updates and the monsters. Ah, it's gonna be great. And Christian, it was so awesome having you on the special program. Hey, well, thanks for having me. <laughs> well, I think it's about time to say goodbye. I hope you all enjoy the version 2.2 update. Overall, pretty good. Thanks for watching. See you all in Genshin Impact version 2.2. It's not Bye. a. I, I, I'm about to say this. <laughs> I just realized it's, why is Toma the only one with hands? Oh, actual fingies? Hey, uh, why is he the only one with sauce? Because <laughs> they have gloves. Actually, not today there will oh. be an online concert celebrating Genshin Impact's first anniversary. In nice. a year of adventure, so many of you have created wonderful memories. I love that art. And to help us recall Very all those nice. special moments, Genshin Impact has prepared a special online concert for all the travelers out there. Musicians from the United States, Belgium, and South Korea will cover Genshin Impact's music with different genres ranging from classical symphony to pop music. There will definitely be a variety of exciting uh, audio and visual I'll have to catch this. It's going to be fun. To enjoy together. Do that. The concert will start at 8.40 a.m. EST or UTC minus 4, which is only a few minutes away from now, so stay tuned. Wait, it's happening today? Wait. What? It's happening right now. Is it now? Did I hear that wrong? It's happening right now? Uh, now it is? That's cool. I can have that on as I edit us out of here. Uh, because I have to go edit this to put it up on YouTube, which is probably where you're watching it right now. But, but with that... That is version 2.2. Honestly, it's not going to be a huge patch. There is quite a lot coming to it, but it is some new enemies. I would definitely call this a filler patch, in a sense, because it's a I new mean, area. it's a new island, new... Floating... I, I, I don't think they said anything about an Archon quest unless I missed that. I don't think it's an Archon quest. I think it's going to be like the Electro Island. Makes sense. Okay, yeah. It'll or it's like it's much. not a main quest, but it's a quest. Oh, like what the Sumi Island was totally a main quest kind of thing, most Ish. likely. We haven't gotten there yet, so I'm just kind of taking guesses here, but it's from what it's been related is. Yeah, no, that was overall real fun. So, guys, let us know what you thought about the live stream down yes. in the comments below. Uh, tell us... Uh, did we nail this? Was this a fun video? And uh, also, I hope you're having an incredible day wherever you are. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys! Bye-bye. And have an awesome day!